Kapla! What is of the Empire? And welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Commando Ramparts Plus Mod, The Klingon Revenge. And yes, I've used that joke before, but I, I kind of like it. I am Captain Tirak of the Light Cruiser IKV Victory. How uh, optimistic of you. Recently of the IKV Terrible, which, uh, well, ran into a terrible fate. Anyway, we are working on steadily controlling this northern area, giving ourselves a little bit more of an economic base, and isolating the Hydran Kingdom. Uh, last time we poked into this little planet here, well, we got the finger bitten off. So we're not going to go there for a little while. D5s, though, are kind of fun. Sort of. Ish. Maybe. I think. We're going to do some patrols, some, uh, some securing space in this mission. You know, do what we can without actually risking anything. Speeding up to our brand new and improved speed of 17 on warm-up, which is nice. And, uh, looks like there is a ship here. We're gonna have to run into it and steal his dilithium crystal. Because he's a jerk. Yeah, that's the reason. That That's the reason. He's a jerk. We came here. We're not gonna let him keep that crystal. So, where is his friend, though? Because he's gotta have friends. Hydrons always come in numbers. There it is. Oh, the Orions are showing up to pick the bones of this clean. So, uh, let's get in there, then. We're gonna zoom in here. Are we prepping a scatter pack? We are. Excellent. Sometimes I do things and don't pay attention. And prepare to beam off this dilithium crystal. So much damage. Everything destroyed. Um, your dilithium crystals are mine. Oh. I hate you. I thought I was going to get a reprieve from having to fight fighters, gosh darn it. So, I think I'm going to open with this. I don't normally do this. I normally avoid doing this. But he's going to dump the wild weasel anyway. So why not, right? Oh, he's a PF tender. That's interesting. So PF pseudo fighters are sort of mini frigates. Uh, they're bigger fighters, and the way that they're carried into battle is well, the uh, the ship has on board have six tractors. Got a hole. You, you have enough to cover that. Jesus. How? Well, actually, no, that, <laughs> I was just about to explain. PF tenders have sort of a, uh, a special way of carrying these things into battle. They're tractor beamed onto the hull. Uh, casual ones have these special clamps that hook the ship up. So, yeah, I get it makes total sense that he's got an absurd number of tractor beams, even though it's, it's highly annoying. It also means I don't have anything available for saturation fire of any kind. Okay, let's deal with these guys one at a time. I am personally of the opinion that pseudo fighters are, or su yeah, pseudo fighters are not, not really on the same level as fighters. Sure, they have heavy weapons and they can charge their own heavy weapons, but they're lackluster and they're easier to kill because they're bigger. So fighters have a natural two points of defense, which makes them pretty good. Uh, when I shoot at them, I'm dealing reduced damage, I'm just not hurting anything. Which is why I'm taking so much absurd damage. I'm not actually able to fight the thing that's important here. But because I can fire at, at these guys at full accuracy, and they've got pretty much no shields, and even worse hull, I don't have to worry about a lot of these things. Now, I have seen the arguments, oh, well, if you pour enough points of energy into your ECM to, uh, to have a defense shift of two, you can basically ignore fighters, but that's that's not easy. Especially not when the motherships are shoving out so much firepower that you'd have to put a lot of distraction into it. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. Okay, now it's just me and you. But there's a small problem. I've been firing at your buddies for quite some time now, and you've just been shooting at me. So I need... Stabilize that warp core. Hard angle turn. And uh, I would like... 
to dump the scatter pack sometime very soon. Fired, didn't hit. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have just continued to the turn. Now we're going to challenge his absolutely absurd number of tractors once again. He was able to completely control all six missiles coming his way. He's fired at me. He can only control six missiles. Uh, I hate you so much. You are just the worst. Because look at that. Look at that. That's six missiles he's holding on to right now. Six! And he doesn't care. He can just do that sort of thing. Luckily, I don't need this system. I don't need this system. I would like this system back, though. Could you please patch it for me? Marines, how you doing? Um, capture. Eh, that ain't happening. We've got three transporters. Let's, uh... Cause some damage. Immediately the hit and run raid went off. Didn't actually cause any damage though. So I will order dual raids to be performed on the disruptors. And we're gonna pause that for now. Uh, if you click this little button here, there's also a keystroke for it. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. It pauses hit and run raids so they don't drop your shields at inop inopportune moments. And one of the reasons why I'm not too concerned about his tractors anymore, because I can't just flood him, is because tractor beams are going to cost him phaser fire, they're going to cost him energy, and frankly, as far as I'm concerned right now, that's fine. Okay. If you're going to show me that, I'm going to fire at it. So... Go hit and run raids. Hit and run raids off. All my rear firing weapons, for whatever they're worth. Managed to take out his phaser. Didn't manage to take out his uh, disruptor completely. So we're going to put two guys on the disruptor, one guy on his other phaser. We're going to steadily focus him down like that. Should have been using hit and run raids kind of from the start, but uh, hey, sometimes I'm slow. Keep patching things. Stabilizing yeah, stabilize that warp core, yo. Keep the transporters going. We're in that little gray area between shields where it tends to sp spread across both. Got anything? No, I got nothing. We've taken damage to... Well, we've lost one of our rear-firing phasers, and the other rear-firing phasers taken some hits. We're doing pretty good, though, I think. I think we're managing to win now. But yeah, PFs I really don't think are as good as fighters. Um, I have seen plasma torpedo PFs, and those can be pretty... Pretty terrifying when like four or five of them start unloading on something. But honestly, I think fighters are just more dangerous. I think they're they're just a little bit more effective. So I'm gonna You just I eat everything and die. Hit and run raids are currently paused. Good. We're going to pull up a little bit on your side. And... go! We hit the system, we destroyed his phaser. And we're exchanging phaser 3 fire for what's that, that's worse. This is going to be an 80% turn. This is going to be the first fa failed high energy turn of the series. It was not. Come on. There we go. Now we've done good work here. Whew. That was a tough one. I'm speaking like it's over. And it's over. <laughs> he must have taken the tractor offline for some reason. I don't know why, but hey, if, if you want to commit suicide, I'm not going to stop you. And 90 prestige for the crystals. Secure the location. Uh, supply patch. Need the shuttles. Need more missiles. 
And need to replace my Marines. Only spent six Marines in that fight. Not bad. 119 for the repair of all that. Asteroid base defense. I don't want to be pinned down. Yes, I'm poking in here again. I shouldn't be. But, um... Hey. What you gonna do? Poking in here is dangerous because you can always get jumped by gigantic things. And also because the last time we poked into here, we were forced to go on a planetary base assault, which wrecked us with frigates and light fr light cruisers. Shields are up. Flying at a speed of 17, accelerating towards it anyway. Enjoying the beautiful backgrounds. But no targets in sight yet. Scatter pack. Prep. Still nothing on scanners. There it is. We got a frigate. A Hydran frigate. Almost looks Tholian. Because you know Tholian ships, they're, they're sort of like the, the teardrop shape. And he's not quite teardrop shape, but... Anyway. I digress. For no reason at all. Hopefully nothing else will show up on the screen. I don't mind having to fight something small. Firing the probes. At maximum range. Well, not quite. Probes have infinite travel. <sighs> Sorry. And let's see what we got to play with. Come on, show me something interesting. Two fusion cannons, a phaser Gatling, and a single phaser two. I'll play with that. That works for me. Reinforce the forward shield. I don't think this kind carries fighters. And if that's the case, thank god, because fighters are... well, I am starting to hate them. We were playing Federation? Hey, fighters weren't bad. Mostly because we used fighters, and their fighters could be dangerous, but we had a lot of ways of dealing with them. Klingons, not so much. Like, even with our escorts, we don't really deal a whole ton of damage to fighters. Scatterpack's ready to rock. I spoke too soon. Of course, I should have known better. I really should have. Okay. ECM. ECCM. Let's see if we can reverse this defense, sh this attack shift. Because I am going to focus on these fighters before I focus on him. That's just how paranoid I am. And also because his ship doesn't look all that particularly scary. Oh, okay. So the point defense forward systems just completely wiped him out. Uh, ECM, this, this, that's what we're doing. It's not going to really matter. I mean, he he's armed with fusion cannons, which if he's got any brains at all, he's only going to shoot when we're point blank range. But it's the thought that counts. Am I going to get hit by it? I think so. Yep, took it on the forward port shield. And uh, no. And we were about to have forward phasers active once again. And phasers should be online now. Took out two more of his shields. Did he dump a shuttle for that? Well, I suppose that was actually kind of important. Yeah, no harm really. Well, no mistake made there. Except now we're just going to reverse this turn, come on in nice and steadily. And, uh, well, annihilate him. ECCM2 off. I thought I set this to off as well. We we're spending points of power that we didn't have to, or want to. Disruptor, shoot! All of them hit. Did an okay amount of damage, not a huge amount. But it did take out the Gatling Phaser in back, which is great. Because those Gatling Phasers are probably his most dangerous weapon. Mostly because the AI doesn't know how to make use of fusion beams. If the AI knew how to make use of a fusion beam, that would be a pretty pretty scary weapon. But they don't. So it's not. And we get out of there. Scot free. Not bad. No worries there. And of course we didn't manage to take it. I mean, you're not gonna cap a planet just by doing that after all. Uh, he said longingly. Got a mission up here. A surprise reversed. We'll take it. Of course we'll take it. Surprise reverses are great. Most of the time. Although Klingon ships kind of lack raw firepower. So how great they are at that is not quite as clear. 
Frigate, 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 heavy cruiser. Okay, that heavy cruiser is going to be a nightmare. Prep the scatter pack. Because we didn't use one last time. So we have it available for this time. And increase speed. We have been detected. They're powering up. It's the Beast Raiders. Which, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the Beast Raiders can actually get monsters as part of their, um... As part of their ship kit. Could be wrong. Okay, full speed now. Disruptors are active. Uh, initial scatter pack is ready. And yes, I'm constantly screwing around with time here. And we're going to dump our first scatter pack right on top of this heavy cruiser. Because I'm a little concerned I won't be able to kill these guys fast enough if I don't. You, then you, then you, then you, then you. But you'll probably activate first. I say that because he's at the head of the formation, and normally the head of the formation activates first on these things. So screaming on in here at maximum speed. That's a lot of phasers. Dump that. All weapons select. Slow down. Prep for the run. Now. Yep. I think he's going to manage to shoot them all down. I wanted to potentially kill him by stunning his stuff and making the uh, missiles go through anyway. It did not work. It did not work at all. He only lost two of his, fa of his Gatling phasers. Great. Second scatter pack is ready. Yes, I am dumping two scatter packs on this guy. Um, because he's really dangerous and he's really big. All weapons. Fire! No, oh, I lost one of our missiles. Yes! Okay. A little bit of overkill. Definitely was overkill in that. But, uh, overkill is fine by me so long as we win. So now we're gonna swoop in over here. We are my next target. Weapons are not quite available yet. Keep on charging. Charge as fast as you may, sir. Come on, give me... Give me the weapons fire in two... All our weapons point black range. <laughs> it didn't break through. Oh, these ships. Another two blasts through. Caused some decent damage, I guess. Uh, managed to take down quite a bit of them, but we've we've really got to kill these guys faster. Ugh, Federation ships are better at this. Anybody with a high num high amount of crunch damage is better at this. But really, this is the most dangerous guy. And then I want to say this guy, the WRR2, this one over here, is the most dangerous. After that, okay, you're dead. But you're probably going to turn on first. Oh, you have five, six phaser ones. That that would be pretty pretty scary, actually. There's reasons why that's actually scary, because, well, Klingon ships... Yeah. I miss having huge numbers of phaser ones. Because that, that just gave you so much flexibility in this game. If you could bring, like, a ton of phaser ones to bear. You had those classic Federation firing passes where you'd soar across the frontal arc of the enemy and just wipe him out. Yeah, we don't get that in Klingon ships. Increase speed. We've got another two phaser threes to work with. Okay, they're badly damaged. They've lost their main phaser array. Push on to him. Our systems will not be on the line in time. Because if he turns on right now, he's not going nowhere. Slow down just a bit. We want to keep everything on the nose. And he managed to shoot all them down. Not really surprising at all. But we did take out two of his six phasers. We're going to turn off. I want to get these phase threes in on the action. Managing to cause some pretty serious damage to that one. Great! He has five Phaser 1s and two Missile Launchers, so yeah, definitely the most dangerous of these three. 
if he turns on, it, that would be a fight. Not really, actually. We, we probably have much better shielding than him, even though we've been doing these hyper-close firing passes. Awesome. So we will turn out, and the Vesa 3s weren't ready. And by the time uh, they come on, they're probably not going to kill him from this range. Okay, so I'm now going to run my way backwards through this line. Sort of. Unless I can't. What is the arc on those phasers? So it is it is just the rear half. And now on to you for the final solution to this mission to take you out using all heavy weapons. Well, actually, not really. They probably won't be ready in time. But hey, well, uh, we'll have managed to do a pretty good job of cutting off... cutting off that planet, I think, if we manage to take this. Show me what I made, because I need money. Lots and lots of money. 300 prestige, so not... Incredible amounts, but yeah, we've totally cut him off now. He is surrounded by us on all sides. And that's a great place to end the episode. We have been set back, but not defeated. We've managed to encompass the fortress world of whatever. And uh, we will then begin heading south. After we take this planet, of course. Maybe before then, we'll manage to pick up another heavy cruiser. I don't know. We'll see. I've been Derek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode.